guys, it's Cody Chamberlain and Matt Sinead with Move Real Estate. Uh, we're here at our newest project, 1100 East. Um, we have started the demo on this house. Other than that, we haven't really done much. So, we've got the dumpster out front. Um, you can kind of see the outside of the house. A little bit run down right now. Um, this is a lower end project we're doing. Not as crazy as some of the last ones we've been doing, so we should be in and out of here pretty quick. Um, but you can see the outside. Definitely needs some paint. Um, we're gonna put some new shutters repair the soffit and fascia around the whole house. It's pretty bad in the back. It's actually not even existing in some areas. And down there, they yep. I'm pretty sure they barbecued <laughs> under their little stoop there in front of their garage and the heat went up. If you do that too close to siding, it'll melt. Um, ask me how I know. Um, and uh, this front window will get replaced. Uh, it's got the whole seals broken. Uh, a lot of these trees will be coming out. These trees, I guarantee, originally probably weren't supposed to be here. They just grow sometimes, um, and then people just let them grow. Uh, but they don't look like they were purposely put in the places that they're put. So we'll be tearing a lot of them out, um, especially these two back here because they're ugly and they block the house. So good rule of thumb, at least a tip of advice, is if you can't see it, you can't sell it. So that means if there's too much crap in front of the house that you can't see it, no one's going to buy it because it's got no curb appeal. And even if it does have curb appeal, it's being blocked. So. That's uh, your tip of the day. Tip of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll build some flower beds here. Um, they kind of have them before, but they just need to be refined. New front door. Uh, that thing's pretty ugly. Um, the flooring in here is actually in really good condition. It does not go with any of the colors that we want to use. So we're going to go over the top of it with a dark um, new pergo. Um, that stuff we use in her is actually kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going to do some new flooring here, new paint, um, the baseboards we're going to try and keep because they're in good condition, we're trying to keep costs down on this project, be in and out of it, you know, under a month is our, is our goal, what we're shooting for. Yeah. Um, and we're not going super modern, so like these baseboards used to be super awesome and everyone would use them, but we, uh, it's changing, we started using just flat stuff and then Surprise, surprise, this started popping up in a lot of other places. But this stuff will work in this home because we're not doing modern, so. Yeah, and a lot of people don't. I mean, my biggest thing is I used to go to Home Depot buy a six panel door. Woohoo, didn't really see the big difference. And we started putting different doors in houses and it just changed the look of the house like big time. So most people don't really see that because they don't go through a lot of remodels. So we're keeping the existing six panels and the trim. We're gonna redo the door casings because they were pretty ugly. Um, but for most people, it works for this price range, it'll look good. Clean yeah. up paint and everything will look fresh. And good. Yeah, in this price range, people, it's their first, maybe their second house, so they're not super educated or have a particular style. Whereas a lot of the homes we do are in the higher price range, if it's selling between five and seven, and uh, even up to eight sometimes. And people, it's their fourth or fifth home sometimes, and they're spending a, a pretty penny, so they want, they're very particular and they like certain styles. So. Just kind of a, a, a tip of advice for when you or if you do go into that higher range. Yep, we're gonna we've got cam lights everywhere, cam lights everywhere already. So we're gonna do the same LED trims we've been doing. They just click into the existing can, you know, give it an upgraded feel. Um, we're gonna wrap this beam with a wood veneer like we did at the Browning home, just to give it you know a little bit of sizzle in here. We're gonna do that in here in the master as well. Um, this window right now, uh, it's a new window, good shape, but we only have access to the backyard through the master bedroom right now, which is kind of funky. So we're going to core cut down all the way and put you know three steps down on the sliding door here, so you have access to your backyard from your dining room and not just your master. Yeah. So that's a fun. That's what's called functionally obsolete at some you know to some certain extent. Um, the reasons I like this home is it's 1,750 square feet all on one level. Three bed, two bath, with a master bathroom, good layout. The two functional things is what Cody just mentioned. You can only get to your backyard through your master bedroom, which is weird. You don't want your guests to have to walk through your bedroom to get outside. You want to have access to the backyard from the master, but that's a secondary to this in the main living area. So this is your dining area. You can walk around the table or this way to get out, which will be fine. And then the other functional weird thing is these step downs in the kitchen. Um, so what we brainstormed, if you want to head into the kitchen. Originally, we, we had brainstormed to actually 
box, frame this all out and make it all level and then there'll be steps that way and steps that way. But our, uh, again, we get as many people as we can through here, some designers a lot of the time, and brainstorm different ideas. Because even though with Cody and I come up with some great ideas, we don't always think of everything. So our designer actually came up with the idea of putting a half wall all the way to about right here. And then that'll be the sit-up bar, and it separates the two areas, and that creates more of a hallway feel. Instead of an open hallway with a step down, it actually is going to be separated off. And we don't have any sit-up bar space right now for our breakfast nook, which that accomplishes two in one. And now we've gotten rid of all the functional obsolescence of the home so that it appeals to the most amount of buyers. Yeah, and another thing it helps us do is save this, this uh, tile flooring. Again, we're trying to keep our numbers down on this project. We're trying to get in and out as quick as possible. And, you know, framing out and building a new floor meant this whole floor had to come up. It's tile's in fantastic condition. It's like brand new. This allows us to save the tile, you know, keep about four grand out of our expense on the project, keep the tile, you know, it works for both ways. Yeah, just regrouting this alone will just make this look great, yep. you know, which is super cheap and easy. Um, other here, things in the kitchen. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, we were lucky. Well, again, a lot of the core components, elect electrical was updated, the uh, plumbing is good to go. We actually got yeah. all the plumbing, and now it is because the bank, it was, when we did our inspection, it was leaking in like 11 different spots. And so we're like, okay, we'll put up with a little bit of leaking, but 11 spots, like that's bad. So we actually forced the bank and got them to cover all the leaks, and they virtually replaced and repaired the whole system. So the water lines are good, most of the waste lines are good. The water heater is good, the furnace is good. Again, when you have core components that are good, um, even though this house is functionally weird and uh, visually it sucks, it's cheap to change the visual and functionality most of the time. Functionality, it's hit or miss. But that's why we, we knew we could make this one work. Yep, great starter home, that's for sure. Yep. Um, kitchen cabinets, again, cabinets, great condition. There's no point in getting rid of, getting rid of these cabinets in this price range home. So we're gonna add crown molding along the top, you know, puck lighting underneath and lighting on top of the cabinets just to kind of give the kitchen a little more pop. And then we're gonna refinish all the cabinetry white. Yep. New countertops, new backsplash. This kitchen feels brand new. So. Yeah. And since we had the backsplash, but it was ugly and tile, the, the, the countertops were tile, tile as well. When they rip all that tile off, the sheetrock's gotta go. And so the wiring is all there, so we can tap in and add some low voltage for the puck lighting super easy, which just kind of gives it, again, that's a wow factor like we're talking about. What are these? Uh, water line for the fridge. Oh. It's kind of nice when they pull the sheetrock down to see insulation though. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, a lot it's of times. Yeah. yeah, in Utah, we're buying 50s houses that have no insulation ever, so. No light in here right now, but this is just a laundry room. Big high ceiling in here, there's existing cabinetry. Again, we're gonna refinish the cabinets, throw a nice new piece of countertop on here. Big laundry room with you know storage space in here. So, yeah. Maybe not the laundry room. slash pantry kind yep. of. Garage out this way, we've got a one car. Sorry. Matt's trying to knock Yoshi off his feet. <laughs> Looks like I'm not getting in here. Careful, no hinges. Okay, so we're not going in there. Uh, <laughs> boom! <laughs> Whack that in the head. Screw to save the deep valve. Oh, there you go. Yeah, screw it. Yeah. We've been teaching our contractors to uh, save us. Epoxy the floor. Nothing much in there. But it's just a one car, small garage. Master bedroom. Big, nice master bedroom. Uh, the first thing a lot of people say when they come in here is this is weird, where do we put the bed? And so we'll be staging this home as we do with all of them, but it's especially important to stage this home. Um, but basically, we're going to center the bed out of these two windows with two nightstands on either side, and they'll, they'll frame out these windows so that it makes it look like the bed, almost like the windows were added after, and so that it, it looks like it's normal. So it's not a big deal. A lot of people don't say you shouldn't put a bed up to a window if the window drops below the headboard type of thing. Not a big deal. That's, but you gotta stage it so that people go, oh, yeah, that works. That's not a big deal. And if it becomes an issue, we'll throw some cool blinds, you know, the adjustable up and down ones on these windows just to kind of help with that. But we're not seeing too big of an issue with it. No. Um, new flooring here, we throw carpet in here and the other bedrooms upstairs here. Um, you know, we'll do a tile landing, clean these doors up so you have access to your patio. Wood wrap on this beam, again, just something to visually give some pop to this bedroom. You know, we have nice high ceilings in here, it'll just be a nice feature. Yeah, what are these, 12? They're pretty tall. I mean, 10? can't touch it. Okay. 
Um, so this had three closets before, which was kind of funky. So we knocked out the middle of this closet. Wow, this is really big. Energy. Yeah, this is the but energy. our thought process, this will come out as soon as we have our framing guys here. We want to pull it out with our demo guys for certain reasons. Um, but we'll have a his and hers closet. So obviously the guy gets a little smaller closet, the lady will get a big closet. So we take three closets and make two better ones. Master bathroom tile again, tile's in great shape. We're going to clean it up, regrout it. We've got tall ceilings in here. Um, the tub obviously needs to be cleaned, potentially refinished if it doesn't clean up well, but it probably will clean up nice. New hardware. These cabinets again, nice vanities. You know, they're not the greatest, but again, we're not in the $600,000 price range like most of our homes. So we're going to keep it. We'll put a new countertop and a new sink on it and it'll look, look good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. it. Yeah, the other bedroom is pretty much the same deal. Oh, we should go look at that other bathroom because we tore it out. Oh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Actually, a good point. The guy who was here before, I think, was a tile. Lesson of the day always make lists. <laughs> Southside Hall just before you Save, yeah. Hey, works. <laughs> I'd rather see that than coming in and all the cabinets are gone. Exactly. So in here, this was a cave before, um, but again, it's nice to see insulation everywhere, yeah. even on the inside walls. Bonus. This is all inside walls. Yeah, um, that's good. It's pretty quiet now that it's not tile, so it's like a cave. So this, everything was tile on the whole thing. If you can actually see, they haven't demoed back here yet, but there, there's tile behind the vanity. It's crazy. <laughs> but so what we did is to make it feel less cave-like is we took the uh, tile off oh, where there shouldn't be tile. You know, most most bathrooms just have tile come to here. There's a step down right here, so we stop there, and there's a step down here, so we stop there. And that way we have ending points for the tile. But again, most of this we're gonna save, except for they damaged that, so. That's a little crappy. But um, we're gonna try and save everything. Um, so it's not actually too much work in this whole house, really. I mean, 35-ish grand, mm -hmm. we're hoping on, which means 40, but. Um, <laughs> that, that, that'll be quick and easy. So, um, so we can keep our contractors off our bigger projects. This thing could be done in like two weeks. Yeah, right? exactly. We're just we have a 90-day deed restriction on the home, so we're not in a huge hurry to get it done. Obviously, we'd like to get it done, but there's higher priority right now. So. Yeah, really, we could get it done in a month, uh, but we we plan on two months just because if we list it on day 60, it means it sells on day 90, and we pass the deed restriction. Yep. So that's it. Um, look out for the next one. Thanks for dropping by. Move real estate.